Hey guys, this is Dow Phoenix and I decided it's time to do a video with uh, just a day out, you know, um, it's about 11 o'clock in the morning, I just uh, ran over to Sonic's and got me some breakfast burrito action, it's a supersonic breakfast burrito, uh, it's pretty awesome because it's got sausage and cheese and tomatoes and jalapenos and it's got onions too, but I asked for them not to put onions, so hopefully they uh, didn't, but <laughs> anyways, um, yeah, so I'm just gonna eat down real quick here. I got my tots. I got my drink too. I'm not gonna make you guys watch me eat this whole time, so I'm gonna cut it now. All right, well I'm done eating now. So, anyways, uh, yeah, that was pretty satisfying. You know, that was my breakfast. Um, you know, I guess I could have went in later if I wanted to in order to breakfast burrito because they serve breakfast there all day, but I don't want to be the asshole that's like there at 4 o'clock in the afternoon and be like, hey, bitch, get me a motherfucking breakfast burrito, you know? I mean, I, I'm not that kind of guy. Um, no, I'd rather wait until like 9 p.m., you know, to do that. <laughs> so anyways, I'm in my car. As you might see, you know, I've got like the world's plainest freaking car imaginable it's a 2001 cavalier check that out broken mirror baby um yeah that kind of was a crazy situation uh let's just say there was like a road rager that was like throwing bottles and shit at me and driving down the highway i mean i don't really fucking get it but i mean pe people are like that sometimes you know I want to show you something else. See that right there? That used to be a badass place called 7-Eleven, but for some reason, because they decided that their pumps um, weren't good enough to replace, you know, like, I guess the government or whatever said they have to replace them, and they were too lazy to, they decided not to, which freaking sucks. I mean, I have to get ICs now? What the fuck? I... I want my motherfucking Slurpee, Okay. So I'm here at a park called Columbia Park, and uh, there's like nobody here right now. It's pretty much just me and a few cars, you know, so. Uh, oh, there's some kids, like way out in the distance. Oh no, I'm a pervert. I'm not serious though. <laughs> okay, so I think it's time to take a little drive and uh, see where it takes me, you know. This is kind of just a, a day out of exploring and doing stuff, pretty much. Nothing nothing serious here, you know. I've got my visor that I'd try to clip this onto. It's not quite working out because I'm using my tablet, you know, and it's a lot heavier than, like, a cell phone, so. Oh, maybe I'll get, like, a rubber band or or something like that to, uh, to do something with it. So... Yeah, and the next time you see me, um, I'll be somewhere else. Uh, it's made my first stop since Sonic, so I figured I'd check out this pawn shop. Uh, I've never been to, uh, you know, I think you guys will like the name of it. Um, I'm sure you guys have, uh, seen that, uh, one TV show, Pawn Stars, you know, where they pretty much just buy overpriced crap and they don't really do anything that a pawn shop would but uh, yeah so um we're just gonna take a look out of here i'm gonna show you the sign out in front real quick uh yeah very nice huh so there's the building right there uh, there's not anybody here really so let's see what's going on you know yeah uh apparently there's a bar over here too you know I see a shopping cart, so I assume it's not open. <laughs> um, we're not that hick around here. Um, here's a nice little sign of, uh, you know, the bench. Someone bought a bench, you know, put some advertisements. That's cool. Let's go in. Uh, what the hell? Shut down by Lettington Police? I, I don't get it. You know, like, seriously, like, what happened here? Like, you know... Was there like a drug bust or something, you know? I mean, this is crazy. Uh, this is just insane, you know? I mean, I've never been in this place before. They've been, they haven't been open for that long, I don't think. 
But I go fi- go figure, you know, anytime I want to check out a new place, they're freaking closed, you know. So Pawn Stars in Missouri, I guess, is not going to happen. We're not going to see a Missouri uh, spinoff of, of that TV series, you know. It's too bad. There's another place that's closed right there, uh, Mi Casa Mexican Restaurant. I've been there one time. It's uh, It was pretty good, actually, but too bad they closed down, too. You know, I had a good friend of mine. He ate there, like, all the time. I guess he didn't eat there enough for them to stay open, though. Uh, well, that sucks. Um, this whole freaking shopping strip is just... I mean, we got big lots over there. I guess we can check that out. You know, why not? Well, done with uh, big lots. Sorry I didn't get any footage in there, but the tablet decided to not work for a brief period of time there. It was strange, I, I know, but... Uh, there was nothing really exciting in there anyways. It's a pretty lame place, you know. I mean, it's okay, I guess. See, they have some good food food deals and stuff like that, but it's... Uh, it's hard to describe it. It's kind of like um, a retarded Walmart or something. Not like, not like literally retarded, you know. Like, it's just like a dumbed-down Walmart. Oh, excuse me. Having some bad sneezes today. You know, sneezes, Christ. <laughs> no, just kidding. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's that's it for Big Lots, you know. I mean, there's really nothing to talk about, you know. I, if you've never been in a Big Lots, you're not missing anything, so. Uh, you know what? Um, next, uh, we're going to actually go to a local game store that I like to go to, you know. Uh, they sell all kinds of shit. So we'll check it out. Hey there. Well, we're here now. I'm going to go ahead and get out of the car. Got my keys. Nice trees back there. So, yeah, I'm going to show you the outside of the place before we go in because it's pretty wild. You know, I'd say it's pretty cool. This is it. Mario coin. Trade, repair. Hey, there's Luigi right there. Look at that. That's pretty cool. And Mario needs to get some red going on there. That red's kind of fading out. A to Z games. Spark Hills. Yeah, pretty cool. Buy and sell. Got yeah, Koopa and Spyro for whatever reason. <laughs> He's not part of the Mario crew. See, it's pretty wild place, you know. I don't know if there's anything back here. Oh, there's Sonic and uh, Tails, and uh, I don't know what the hell that is. I know I know what it is, but I just don't know the name of it. That the Cloud without the Lakitu, and Bowser has got like, he's kind of fading out too, and Yoshi. That's pretty cool. And they did like their whole place like this, you know, like all the back area is pretty much just storage and stuff like that, so it's not really part of the shop. Um, it's where they store all their excess stuff, so we're going to go ahead and go in now. So, yeah. All kinds of computers and stuff. I don't know why, but I'm quiet right now. Xbox. A bunch of old PC games for all the... Well, not, they're not old, but... <laughs> some of them are. All kinds of cool stuff in here. There's no GameCube out here. GameCube, not GameCube. <laughs> Not a whole lot of these compared to the Xbox and PS2. Check that out. A bunch of $2 bills. Y'all. Hey, that makes like a $3 bill. Like one biscuit. So this is the cartridge heaven. They have like everything from Atari and whatnot. You know, it's kind of a little messy back here right now. I guess. But yeah, there's a 
bunch of NES titles here. Oh yeah, that's awesome. There's a bunch more over here. Bunch of Nintendo titles. Yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, Nintendo 64. Super Nintendo right here. Just so many freaking games. You know, I'm I'm impressed. You know, right for around here, anyways. I mean, I'm sure there's bigger game stores, obviously, but Sega Genesis. You know, without the cases, and then with you know, I'm actually surprised there's so many Sega Genesis games without the cases because those cases were awesome. There's no reason you shouldn't have had them in the case still, or not have them in the case. Uh, Atari 2600 uh, is mixed in there. There's a bunch of Atari over there. So yeah. Um, you know, miscellaneous like uh, Sega Master System and television and whatnot, you know, just a bunch of cartridges, you know. This is insane. This is pretty awesome, you know. Oh, look at this here. Here's a shitty game. And here's a shitty game. Two shitty games together. Yeah, we gotta undo that, so let's show off an awesome game. Hell yeah. That's, that is the shit. Oh, but we gotta do more shitty games. Karate champ, bitches. Um, let's see, we gotta have something undo that though, you know what I mean? Let's see here. Um, okay, here we go. We'll do Batman, because Batman's always cool. And sends off bitches. So yeah, bunch of games. Bunch of games. Check out some of these other games. Nintendo 64, WrestleMania 2000. Played the hell out of that one back in the day. That was an awesome game. Um, oh, and uh, WC and W and Revenge. That was actually my second in in 64 cartridge I ever owned. Um, let's see. I don't know what else to look at here. Uh, it's all sports games. What the hell? You know, there's a bunch of freaking sports games back here. I guess all the good ones are, uh... Well, here's, uh, Hexen. That was not too bad, you know. And, uh, let's look at Super Nintendo. Just check those out real quick. So, let's see here. Hmm, oh, here we go. Here's a shitty game. So, uh, if you're part of that Shaq Boo Club that likes to destroy the cartridges, uh, there's at least one Shaq Boo cartridge here at the A to Z Games, Park Hills, Missouri, so... Go pick it up and liberate the world from it. Uh, <laughs> you just look it up on the internet if you know what I'm talking about. A uh, whole bunch of sports games. Amazing amounts of sports games. Oh, gosh, you know, so many sports games. What's up with that? Um, okay, here's another shitty game. Uh, Wizwar actually did this one. Ultraman. Yeah, five bucks. Yeah, right. That ain't worth five bucks. Well, maybe if you're just kind of reminiscing, I guess, or big uh, fan. Oh, here's another shitty game right here. Rise of the Robots. Hell yeah. Why isn't there a website to liberate the world from the that game? Maybe I'll start that one someday. So, yeah. I think I'm done with the cartridge wall for now. I'm going to talk to the people that run the place. Uh, this is Laura and Jerry. They own this establishment. Uh, I don't know how you guys got all these games. Do you have a story to tell behind that? or They just come through the front door. <laughs> well, we started years ago at the flea market. Yeah. Well, you I mean you had to get like an initial stock somewhere, I guess. You know, I guess that's what I mean. Flea market, yeah. You guys just like bought them from other people and... That's pretty cool. You got a nice shirt there. <laughs> and it's St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. Oh, yeah, St. Patrick's Day. I'm not even wearing green, so yeah, you better pinch me, I guess. <laughs> so, um, what, what do you think the rarest thing you have here is, as far as, like, uh, not necessarily, like, rarity, but price, uh, as far as gaming? Oh, we've got a sealed copy of the classic version of Metroid for the NES. Oh, really? It's valued at over $1,000 right now. Oh, wow. So, we do have one of those. It's a sealed copy? Yes, the classic. Wow, that's pretty awesome. That is pretty How'd awesome. How'd you guys get your hands on that? Somebody brought it into the front door. <laughs> yes, he wanted gas money. 
Oh, yeah. Well, I guess... Uh, and so he sold it to us for gas money. That's weird. Metroid's a good game. I don't understand mm-hmm. how there'd be still a copy still. <laughs> yeah, it was sealed, though. And Jerry got it, so it was crazy. Yeah? yeah. What about, like, game system? Yeah, What's the rarest one you got? We got a, a box copy... Of the original Nintendo with Robbie the robot with all the parts. Oh yeah, I think I think you showed that to me before. I really like that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, we have that. Did that come with games or was it just a system? Just the system and the Rob the robot. Oh, it might have. Oh, that gyromite. Yeah, that may, that would make sense. Yeah. Maybe Mario too. That every Nintendo had that. So. Well, the the gyro the gyromite edition though, he's still got all of the paper between all of his parts <laughs> like this. He still has all of his his original stuff on. Oh yeah. It's pretty pretty cool. Yeah. This one's not complete though, is it? Yeah. Well, I think well, no. he's missing one piece. He's missing one of these. It's just about it. He's missing his battery door. Yeah. You know what? Actually, uh, missing more than that because there's like. I think like a total of six, six discs or something like that. Really? Yeah. yeah they're, they're in the box. But this is what we got with this one. Yeah. I don't know if you guys watch videos on YouTube or whatever, but you should definitely check out uh, the Angry Video Game Nerd. Uh-huh, I've seen him before. And uh, have you seen him do the Rob the Robot? No, I've seen him do the Power Glove, though. Oh, yeah. The Rob the Robot one's really good. It's probably one of his best ones. So, yeah. It's pretty cool. Um, work, huh? So, yeah. I guess, uh, what about like PlayStation games? What kind of rare PlayStation games do you have right now? Yeah, I got like a copy of Vandal Hearts and a Lundra 2. And mm-hmm. I sold my last um, Resident Evil Nemesis last night. Oh, that Resident Evil 3, you mean? Yeah. Nemesis. Oh, okay. I had that one yesterday. I just get different stuff all the time, like Final Fantasy. Yeah, you don't have Final Fantasy 7 right now, do you? No, but I had one last week. Oh, yeah, I guess yeah. it's kind of come in and out. And the Dra- Legend of Dragoon, I've been getting a lot of those lately. Do you have that one? Yeah, I think I have one of those. Too. Um, I don't know if you know this, but, like, the disc 2 on that game often messes up. Do you know if, like, the disc 2 works on any of yours, or... As far as I know, it they Because I have, like, three friends, including myself, you know, that, uh... We all had, like, brand new sealed copies of that game. We played through the first disc, and then the second disc, it always would always crash. After like maybe a half hour. Never done. And, I don't know. Yeah, no, it's weird. Like that is weird. Yeah. So, uh, um, yeah, I guess uh, that's it. <laughs> All right. I want to show you more games. Uh, these are like some of the more rare games, I guess, uh, for the cartridges. Good job, baby. <clears throat> you know, more high value games, like non sports games. So original box Nintendo games right here. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. And uh, yeah. a lot of just a lot of Nintendo games here. I got a few of these in my collection. Oh, I don't know if you've seen this before, but this is a pretty crazy NES accessory. Pretty cool. SNES. What do you say, Joe? Thank you. You're welcome, Joelle. Oh, it's a video, yeah. For my YouTube pretty channel. Good. Pretty good video. Yeah, yeah, not bad, not bad. It's, you know, for a tablet, you know, it's, usually they don't have very good cameras. So, yeah, that was uh, an adventure in down Phoenix land. Go figure. Um, I just decided to do something a little bit different for my subscribers, just to kind of see some day-to-day stuff, and also to, uh, you know, see a nice video game store, you know, product advertisement, because I missed 7-Eleven, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, Slurpee Cup, and Cherry Coke Zero in there, so... Yeah, that's pretty much all I gotta say. I sorry I cut the uh, last clip a little short. Uh, some guy was like asking me about my tablet when I was filming, which I guess makes sense. You know, I mean, I wasn't in there with just like a regular camera, so yeah, go figure. Um, so I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, leave your comments and whatnot below. Um, like and favorite if you like it or. Well, if you don't, I don't care. You can still do it if you want to. Um, but I'd prefer if you guys be honest about it. So, um, 
yeah, that's all I got to say. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. <laughs> uh, down Phoenix out. <laughs>